So if you're an account manager or if you're in the fulfillment or delivery side of your business, I've got a quick tip that if you can ultimately remind your team and remind yourself of this on a continuous basis until it becomes muscle memory, it's going to improve the quality of your work because it came up in our business and I saw the impact that giving people some simple dates had. So the dates that your team need to know, but also need to be reminded of Every time you go into a call, let's say, for example, you've got five clients and you're talking about client number one, Frank's Frank's carpets. You'd say, cool. So tell me about Frank's carpets. FYI, reminder, we're into month three. Their billing date is coming up in seven days from now. And the goal is to get to X keywords. So now that you have that context, let's talk about it. Let's go to the next client, George's Vape Shop. Cool. Now their bidding is coming up in three days. So report, let's be ready. And they're into month six. So just as a reminder, they are actually our highest paying clients. If you give your team this continual reminder and context, it's going to change the way they approach their work. Because what tends to happen is that all of the work rolls into one. And then as a consequence, people don't become as much as they should consciously aware of the deadlines. And then what happens is that everyone assumes it's someone else's responsibility when actually there's a collective and shared responsibility. The reason this came up is because we had two clients. One of them was on a weekly billing, but because it wasn't hammered into all of the team, everyone over-serviced where they were meant to be paying per week for a batch of cold calls. That was example number one. Example number two was a project that was meant to be a two week project, but because the terms of the actual engagement were forgotten, became a four-week project. So we actually lost several thousand pounds by giving double the time, or we wasted a lot of the time that we had. But in any event, a continual problem that you'll have with a lot of your campaigns, if you're watching this fulfillment team, delivery team, or managing director, mandate it at the beginning of every call, the account manager has the list of clients and it says, great, so this is week seven. They're coming up to the end of their month and... This is what they're trying to rank for. Something to this effect, but something that underlines, this is how long the client is in into us for. This is where they are on the totem pole. And this is when the billing date is coming up. So we need to make sure our ducks are in order and that they're happy by the time the billing date comes around. If you just change that, it will change the way the team approach their work because then they'll immediately, going into the week, understand priority, hierarchy, because what sometimes happens is that short-term fires get focused upon at the cost of longer-term objectives. And this really only happens because people just forget the dates, because no one remembers it. So the way that you enforce memory is by memorizing it, and the way that you memorize it is just repeat it at the beginning of every damn client call, or repeat it at the beginning of every internal call that every week when you're doing the state of affairs for all of the clients remind people this client is paying five thousand pounds a month just as a reminder this is our most important client they're coming to the end of their quarterly contract so they need to be really happy with the results that's coming up in two weeks from now guys so let's just make sure we've got our ducks in order now with that in mind let's talk about today's updates change that it will change the way your team approach your work